another episode of um, this channel on a mission where we share our daily lives as missionaries in um, Germany. Uh, my name is Brian and this is my wife Vanessa and today we want to talk about a few things that surprised us when we came to Germany. We've been here for nearly two years now and we've noticed quite a few differences uh, or, or quite a few things that surprised us when we arrived here. One of the things that surprised me uh, was to see that there are so many cars and so many drivers on the road, yet the drivers are extremely, extremely friendly, um, especially around the towns and some of the older areas uh, where the streets are very narrow and uh, there's so many cars parked on the street that many times it's very difficult for two cars to get through uh, going in different directions on the same road. But yet the drivers are quite patient, they will wait for you, uh, if you have to do a three-point turn, people just wait for you, no one gets impatient, people let you in. Uh, it's, it's quite good. Um, have you noticed that? Yeah, um, I think a, a big thing is that Germans in general don't like change too much, and so the streets are like, yeah, they're still kind of the same width as they were mm. a long time ago when they didn't have all these cars, so... Mm. They just have to be patient because if they weren't patient, I don't think anyone would really get along. <laughs> no, maybe we should put a, a short clip of uh, maybe some photos or a, a short little clip of some streets around Germany so you can see what we mm -hmm. mean. They are really, really narrow, some of them. Uh, they, they're narrow that they would be a one way in Australia, and yet here they're a two way and people park on the streets. So, um, yeah, I actually got stuck on a street uh, about a month ago. I was helping someone to move a few things. And they have this two way street that it's impossible for two cars to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get stuck in the middle, one of you have to decide which one's going to reverse all the way to the corner to let the other one through. So, yeah, but uh, they are very friendly. Yeah. yeah, and also this is the reason where, why we see a lot of cars parked up on the footpath. Yeah, they're actually the cars parked because on the footpath you, a lot. If you didn't, well, it'd be very sad. Yeah, another thing that's, uh, that surprised me about Germany when I came here was the, the funny ideas of, of safety, if you want to call it that way, um, that they have with the traffic rules in a way. Uh, in Germany... If you have a car and you're driving a car, you have to have a first aid kit that's within date. They have a use by date for the first aid kits. And if the police stop you and they check for it and it's and you don't have it or you don't, or, or it's expired or if you don't have the, the reflective triangle or a reflective vest with you, you can get fined. Yet, when the traffic work is happening on the road, uh, they always use these big orange trucks uh, to, to work on the road, vans or trucks. You can tell straight away because they're really bright orange. Uh, they will stop to do a bit of uh, repair on the side of the road and they will stop right on the lane, just put the blinkers on and no traffic controllers, no lollipop men, no traffic lights. They will stop in a, in a bend on the road and you've got to go and stop and slowly creep around them mm -hmm. uh, hoping that no one else is coming the other way. So it's uh, quite strange to see uh, so much safety when it comes to having a first aid kit and all that. Yet when it comes to, <laughs> to other things, they don't seem to care. Yeah, it seems to be like the general... Um I don't know, it's like the attitude, <laughs> at least Bavaria, I don't know about the rest of Germany, Germany that, um, yeah, some things are, yeah, really amazing and some things are really not so, so it's, it's kind of weird actually. Mm -hmm. Another thing too is there's tons and tons of uh, tractors on the, on the road, Tra tractors, yeah, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you see them everywhere, especially in summer when they because... Germany is not like Australia or other countries that I've been to. They have the city and then there's no suburbs. There's the city and then towns. And in between each town, there's a lot of um, fields with, you know, uh, corn and wheat, potatoes. So there's always tractors uh, driving around uh, doing that stuff, as I said, especially in summer. And sometimes they slow the traffic right down, but everyone just takes it easy. Yeah, and they don't just go you know, where it's not, you know, whether it's sort of more out of the way, like I was walking to um, 
I think it was the chemist the other day, so right in the middle of a small town around the bend, and then this big tractor, blah, 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 you know, going around the corner, and there's this lady actually even driving it, and all the, like, you know, produce on the back, and then they'll, they'll be bringing, like, big logs and everything on these tiny little bends in a small mm. town. So, yeah, everyone just has to be patient for so many reasons yeah. regarding traffic. I know yeah. people just kind of work together, so it's good. Yeah. One more thing that actually surprised me about traffic, I mean, uh, most of you would have heard about the autobahn or the, um, the freeways here. And, you know, everyone says that there's no speed limit in the autobahn. The autobahn actually just means the, the, the freeway. That's what they call the freeway here. And they have them everywhere. They really, you can go from anywhere to anywhere, all through different freeways. They have an amazing network of freeways. Um, and um, against popular belief, they're not all without speed limits. Actually, there are some areas without speed limits. You can go as fast as you like. But there are many areas where you're limited to 120 and even some places to 100 kilometers an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's surprising about it is that even in the areas where there's no speed limit, the majority of traffic seem to drive at, a, at about 130 kilometers an hour. Between 120 and 130, you do get the odd cars that just fly past you, maybe doing 200 like kilometers this. an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Even in, the, even in the wet, they do. Yeah, but the majority of people actually stick to about 120, 130. Mm -hmm. uh, like 90, 90, 95% of the people. So that surprised me too. I thought that everyone would be just flying down where there's no speed limit. But no, they just take it easy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's I think a bit uh, for traffic. Uh, things to do with roads and stuff like that. I mean, there's another few things, but nothing worth mentioning probably. Not on, not on a short video. <laughs> And uh, then I wanted to talk, well, we wanted to talk about uh, a little bit about supermarkets here. They're actually quite different to the supermarkets in Australia. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they're a lot smaller to begin with. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and um, of course, with our supermarkets in Australia, we, we have everything available, like all the food and all the clothes and everything mm -hmm. together. But, I mean, they do have that as well, but, um, but not very, very many of them. Mm -hmm. But most of the supermarkets, they're just food, really. Yeah. A lot of the supermarkets, I think, are a lot like Aldi, like uh, yes. people listening in Australia uh, or, or watching this in Australia would uh, be able to relate that uh, a lot of them actually, Aldi comes from Germany and there's a lot of Aldis around. Mm -hmm. There's another one called Lidl that's also very similar, it actually pretty much looks the same. And even the other smaller ones, Neto, Penny, um, they're all pretty much the same. They're, they're, they're small supermarkets, mm -hmm. not a lot of variety. You have one, maybe two brands of each product that you're looking for, and uh, that's it. Um, but then there's a couple of big supermarkets, uh, and they are quite expensive. Um, Tengelman, uh, Breve, and Aise. That's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're three chains that have big big supermarkets, more like the Australian style, uh, but they're not many of them, and they are quite expensive. Yeah, very expensive. It, it, it kind of sort of seems to me that it um, <coughs> it suits how the classes here are in Germany because you have you don't seem to have a big range of middle class people. You have people that are really struggling, and then people who are really rich. And the supermarket seems to be the same because you have supermarkets that are so discounted so that people can afford things because it can be um, difficult to live in Germany financially. But then the, the other supermarkets, they're, they're very expensive and you would only go there if you, could, if you couldn't find something that you wanted at the cheaper ones mm, or, mm. or if you had a lot of money. So. Yes. And another thing that yeah. really the first, I don't know, I can't remember, but maybe month or the first couple of months that we were here was that what you find in supermarkets here is really different to what you find to, in supermarkets in Australia. And I would go to a supermarket looking for something that is normally sold at supermarkets in Australia, and I would not find it. And I would look around and look around and until I actually found uh, where to get different things, like some things that you buy in the supermarket there, you actually buy in like um, 
a hardware store here maybe or maybe like in a, a auto parts store like if you're looking for they really don't sell anything to do with cars at all in australia you can get oil and a few things for your car but here you cannot get anything uh, and also a lot of things like brooms and things like that are very rare to find in supermarkets. You have to go to a hardware store for those things. So it's a bit difficult to find some things like that and also some foods. Is yeah. that right? I remember one of our first experiences we was trying to find, um, first of all, was trying to find corn flour and we couldn't find it anywhere and then we found that it had quite a different name to what we would call it. And um, also we was looking for um, self-raising flour. We wanted to make something. And so we asked these people in the shop, um, do you have this flour and it's got this in it? And it's like, no, never heard of that. Like, what? Are you serious? Like, no, we just actually add, it, add the baking powder to the flour and that's how we get our self-raising flour. So I was like, oh, okay. And, and it's like that with so many things because like what we would consider just common food items they don't necessarily have but then they have a whole range of other different things like for example um vegetarian meats and vegan cheeses mm. i mean they have whole health food stores you know just for you know organic or vegetarian or you know vegan. yeah or, you know, there's, there's a big vegan movement here it mm. seems in germany like so they definitely have a lot of health foods that we don't have but yeah, also a lot of common food items. Mm. Yeah, they don't have that we have. Mm. Another thing that they have here that we really like, <laughs> you can get 100% freshly uh, squeezed uh, blood orange juice. Oh, mm. very, good. very nice. And the bakeries here have really amazing kind of, yeah, really amazing breads. A lot of them whole wheat bread. Um, different kinds of pastries that we don't have in Australia. The bakeries are quite a lot better than ours and taste very good. Mm, they, are, they do have, and they have a lot of really, yeah, yeah, really different breads, really a huge variety. Mm, um, much better quality. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's about it. Uh, mm. Just one more thing I wanted to mention, uh, and I forgot about the traffic here in, in Germany. Uh, the traffic lights here in Germany are quite different to the ones in Australia. The traffic lights here, uh, I will post a, a picture of, of what the traffic lights look like in here. I mean, they look the same. You have the red, the, the, the amber or, or yellow and the green, of course. But they sit on this side of the intersection, on, 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 on the side that you stop. They don't have traffic lights on the other side. So sometimes if you stop too far... Uh, forward you have to bend your neck to have a look at the light that's right that's next to true. you to see when it turns green uh, so yeah it's uh, it's a funny thing as well so I think that's about it for today um, if you like the video please uh, let us know by putting a comment or if there's anything that uh, you would like to know about Germany if you're curious about anything about Germany just also write a comment and and ask your question and we'll try to to give you an answer uh, and also subscribe so you can follow us and uh, yeah and like the video and share it with your friends okay uh, this is us saying goodbye until next time so god bless you and goodbye